Hello everybody, today we're going to be creating a QR code maker on Programming Done Right. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that and let's get right to the tutorial. To start with this tutorial, we're just going to want to open up the terminal inside your IDE. If your IDE does not have a built-in terminal already, head to the command prompt if you're on a Windows and the terminal if you're on a Mac. So the first thing you want to do is we need to install a two packages that are going to be really important when building our program. The first one is going to be called QR code and the next one is going to be called uh, pillow. So QR code is going to be used to actually tra transform our links to QR codes and then pillow is going to be used to show our QR code. So let me walk you through it. So first thing we want to do is we want to write pip install QR code. And now we're just going to wait a little bit and I'll meet you guys back when the installation is done. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're just going to get successfully installed, so you're good to go. Now we're going to install pillow. So it's pip install and then pillow. OK, so we want to write pip install pillow. And now we're going to wait a little bit again and letting uh, let pillow install. So I'll meet you guys back when it's done or it's just done right there. So that was a quick install. So once we're done with both of those things, it's going to be pretty easy to actually do this. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to delete any pre-existing code if there is any. OK, and now we're going to import these things in our program. The first thing we're going to do is import QR code. The next thing is we're going to import pillow. But the way we do this is actually different. Import PIL. OK, actually, sorry, from PIL. Import image, because that's the only thing we really need, the image. And it's called PIL when importing it and pillow when installing it. Uh, so that's just it. OK, now we want to get the link from the user so that we can actually turn this into a QR code. So I'm going to make a variable link equals input. And then I'm going to say enter your link. And then I'm going to put a colon and a space so that they can enter their link and they'll get a an user input and it'll be stored in the variable link. The next thing we want to do is we're going to want to find a file name because we're going to save this QR code as a file. So we're going to say file name equals input. And now we're going to ask them, what would you like to name your file? OK, so once that's done, we basically have both. We basically have all our inputs there. Now we actually have to transform this into a QR code. This is where we're going to use the QR code, uh, QR code variable or sorry, the QR code library. The way we do this is we're going to write QR code. And then we're going to say QR code image image equals. And now we're going to say QR uh, code dot make. So QR code dot make. And now we're going to put the link in because this is the link that we're going to be making a QR code from. So once we're done with that, now we can just make we can finish the full file name. So we're going to make a new variable full file name equals file name plus dot PNG because we're going to be saving this as a PNG file. OK, so we're going to just get their file name. So let's say I name my file QR code, then we're going to be saving QR code as a PNG. So it's going to be QR code dot PNG. So once that's done, we actually want to display the we actually want to save the file and display it to the user. Now we're going to be using something called try and accept. What try and accept is, is it basically try is the code that we're going to put inside the box. So uh, like, you know, if something happens, uh, we're going to try to execute this code. But if an error occurs, then we're going to do the exception handling or we're going to execute more code. For example, the try could be eating the pizza, but if the pizza is poisonous, then the accept would be throwing the pizza out. So we can do that kind of like that. So all we have to do is try. OK, and now we want to save the file. So the way we can save the file is we can say oh, we can put our uh, variable QR code image dot. And now we're going to save this at, at, as the full file name. So the full file name is what we're going to name our file. And then, oh. That was not right. OK, so when we do this, the full file name and then we can uh, just put PNG because that's the file type. So once that's done, uh, you're going to get this like red squiggly. Don't worry about that. That's just because we haven't done the exception handling yet. Don't worry. 
So basically, now we just want to say I am equals, and then we're going to say image, image dot, and now we're going to say open, and we're going to open the full file name, whatever it is, right? So uh, we're going to open it up, so full file name, and then we're going to say im dot show, because that's our variable, im dot show, okay? And uh, yeah, so there's one tiny mistake we made. We have to make from PIL import image like this, right? That's all we have to do, capital I. So now our variables and everything should be good. You're still going to see this red squiggly mark. That's because now we've said the uh, code about eating the pizza, but what if the pizza is poisonous? Or what if, our bu a bu we, what if we have a bug in our code, really? So the reason what we're going to do is the only reason we get a bug is because if the file has already been named this file, like if I say QR code two times, then it's going to give me an error because, you know, I have two QR code files. That makes no sense. So all we're going to do is we're just going to print about We're just going to print and say, uh, please enter in a unique file name. OK, and just like that, your code should be good to go. So let's run this code and see how it works. So I'm going to press run and I'm going to wait for it to run. So when when it runs, it's going to ask me to enter my link. I'm going to enter in youtube.com slash programming done right. OK, and what would I like to name my file? What I'd like to name my file is PDR QR code scan. OK, and now I'm going to wait a little bit and it's going to open up. It's going to open up the it's actually going to open it up for me. So I'll show you guys what it opens up. The thing that it opens up for me is it opens up Microsoft Photos and this is my QR code. So that's what PIL it opens up and it's really cool. But let's see if it actually saved in our window. So let's go back to our QR code maker and let's check if it actually saved. So in our QR code maker, we can uh, put this down, exit this out. Let's go to project files and look at this beauty QR code scan.png. It's saved into our computer. We created a QR code maker with just a couple lines of code. So if you like this tutorial, please make sure to leave a like. It helps a lot. So it helps me get discovered because I'm still a small YouTuber right now. Leave a comment. That also helps. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we all, we hit 190 subscribers as of right now. So let's get to 200. Anyways, that's it for today. Bye.